Welcome back and now we have news from sports. The Goa Cricket Association has every reason to feel very happy at the way the pitches at the Fatorda Stadium have shaped up. The high scores in the practice matches have shown that the pitches are good enough for the upcoming ODI between India and Australia. The expectations will now be for a blockbuster contest between India and Australia. The quality of any cricket match is largely based on what sort of a pitch is made available to the teams. And that is what every association works months ahead of the scheduled match. The Goa Cricket Association's Pitch Committee Chief Surya Kant Naik with the assistance of BCCI appointed curator Samandar Singh Chauhan have worked hard for the last couple of months to prepare the strip at the Nehru Stadium at Fatorda. The practice match on Monday between Ranji players and upcoming youngsters gave an indication of the pitch being batting friendly. Although one cannot read too much into this kind of a match, pitch expert Surya Kant Naik feels that the pitch is behaving very well. In the period leading up to the October 24th ODI, there may be some minor corrections here and there, but largely two pitches are ready and both are of the same quality. The pitch for the ODI will only be decided a couple of days before the match. A reporter from Margaon, Ramesh Naikraut. The series shaping up to be a really interesting one. The Taligaon boys qualified for the state finals of the Paika Volleyball Tournament after winning the district finals. In the North District category, a total of 14 teams participated. Mandre Panchayat finished second. The tournament is organized by Sports Authority of Goa under the Paika scheme. The day-long competition concluded in the evening with Talegaon slugging it out with Mandre in the finals. The Talegaon boys strangled Mandre in the first set 25-6. Mandre came back strongly in the second set but Talegaon played better and won the second set 25-20. Even though they lost their influential captain Vithal to injury in the second set, Mandre had to be content with second place. Over in the third place match, Sakhali Panjayat boys ran the team from Bicholi close in the first set that finished 27-25. The Bicholi boys looked more authoritative in the second set and won it 25-17. Talegaon, Mandre, Bicholi and Sakhali have qualified for the state finals scheduled on 14th October. They will take on the four winning Panchayats of the South District Finals. Here are some highlights of the finals and the third place matches. Up with the winning team captain Vital Narvikar of Talegaon. Vital coined the Stadoga Don Satani to Mandre Panchayatik Male Boresta. I am happy. Can you give me both of the Santolo? I am actually Saram Java coaching by the Lee. I am just Sarajana Dilip Duka and Suresh Chirogar. Okay, and he practiced Kit like Kelly to me. Why with Adam? Where I practice Pandra just my skill practice. A sports reporter Nikhil Pereira with video journalist Ravindra Dalvi from Kampal. While cricket, hockey, and football are the major team sports played in India, an addition to this lineup can come in the form of rugby. The sport of Rugby Sevens has emerged as one of the most exciting team competitions in the world. Today, in our play of the day, we leave you with the visuals of Rugby Sevens event from the ongoing Commonwealth Games. Take care and goodbye.